Hi there, my name is Vince from Mr Telephone and today I'm going to be talking about my BT Infinity leads, my VDSL leads for the super fast broadbands. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is I get a lot of uh, lot of questions about people who buy their leads and then they're really confused. They think it's not going to fit my VDSL place, faceplate because I make them with an RJ45 on the socket end while BT and the other suppliers, they're all RJ11. But I just made this video just to show you how the RJ45 does actually fit into the, uh, into, the, into the wall socket, okay? So this is my lead here. Very high quality lead. Either, I either make it out of Cat5e or Cat6 cable, depending on uh, the customer's requirements. And as you can see, one end is RJ11 and one end is RJ45. I do label them up with wall socket ends and modem ends. This will go from the wall socket to either the modem or the hub if you've had the uh, if you've had Infinity or VDSL uh, installed recently. It's also known as fiber FFTTC fiber to the cabinet. Okay, so uh, when the engineer left you, you would see that uh, you would have had a, a master socket installed. You probably had one of these already, but if you had the older type master socket, it would have been changed to one of these. And the engineer would have then fitted a VDSL faceplate, which is this thing here. Okay, it's like the old ADSL faceplates. It's kind of a cross between that and the eye plate. They've used the design of the eye plate, so you don't have to undo any extensions, uh, but it does the same job as an ADSL faceplate, but the filtering is better in here. So if you've got Infinity, you will have one of these already installed by the engineer. So that goes into there, and then your faceplate with the extensions, if you have any, you might not have any phone extensions, but if you do, they will be on this part here. That plugs into there. Okay, so your socket at the moment will look like this and it will have your phone plugged into this part here you won't need to do anything with that okay that's where your phone will be plugged into yeah and you will have your cheap little flat lead plugged into here okay now uh, the, the the leads that the service providers currently use are rj11 to rj11 so that they're small plugs yeah and they use really awful cable. It's basically flat, non-twisted pair cable. The same as the the same as the cord that goes from your wall socket to your to your phone. Yeah. So you can have up to 70 meg coming down your line, and then it's finished off with this awful cable to save a pound. You know these cables are, are made for pennies. In the uh, well, nowadays it's mostly they're mostly made in the uh, in in the Far East. Uh, mass produced, they're, they're not very good quality at all. Obviously they work, otherwise they wouldn't be supplied, but they just don't work very well, okay? Because they can pick up all sorts of interference because they're not twisted. The rest of the telephone network is twisted, and the cables I make, I use data twisted pair. So uh, telephone cables twisted, you know, a few times per meter, while uh, data cables twisted uh, a few times per inch. Now, if you uh, have a look at the the cable, the, the cable that I supply, the Infinity cable, the VDSL cable, that's the RJ45, okay? That's the big end. And as you can see, it does fit in, yeah? If you slide the strain relief boot back, you can see that it fits in, yeah? So this socket in here is an RJ45. It might not look like it, but it is. It definitely is, and it will fit an RJ11, Yeah, or it's an RJ11 or an RJ45. Slide the boot back on. Yeah, so uh, if it's now the reason I put an RJ45 in is I think an RJ45 plug always fits better into an RJ45 socket because there's no play there. If you have a look, yeah, yeah, it fits nicely. The pins haven't got a chance to go anywhere. There's only eight contacts in there and the RJ45 plug has eight contacts. So when it goes in, there's no chance of you putting it in wrong, sl you know, sliding onto the wrong pins or anything, especially with wear. Sometimes with these RJ45s, you might notice it if you make a lot of leads and you've got a tester, and when you try to put the RJ11 into the RJ45 socket, it will go in at an angle. I mean, this is a new socket now, so it's not gonna happen. But there's, there's, there's more chance of having wear and pushing that in wrongly than, uh, or making a bad connection than putting an RJ45 in a plug into an RJ45 socket. The RJ45 socket is designed to take both an RJ11 plug and an RJ45, but uh, in my opinion, an RJ45 will always fit better into it. 
So that's why I put an RJ45 on one side. Now, the reason I don't make it using flat cable is, this is the cable here, yeah? So this is the lead, the lead that you get. If you can have a look, it's just flat wires, yeah? And also it's stranded as well. So if you were to strip that back, yeah? Can you see, it's just stranded, stranded bits of copper, yeah? This is really prone to interference because it's got no shielding on it. There's no twisting on it to, uh, to you know, to uh, repel the interference, to cancel out the noise, yeah? Now, if you have a look at that compared to the cable that I make, this is the Cat5e version. If you can have a look, look how tightly the, tw the pairs are twisted, yeah? And if you look at the blue one here, just stripped a bit back, can you see that solid copper, yeah? and it's tightly twisted. It's just a much, much better cable. If you have a look at the Cat6 version, which is even better again, Cat6 cable comes like that. Look at the twists on that, yeah? And it's got, it's separated. Each pair is separated from each other again with this little plastic cross member, yeah? That runs right the way through the whole cable. So each pair goes in each section of the cross, yeah? And the plastic Shields each pair, yeah. So it's uh, you know this is this Cat Six cable is a nice cable, but Cat Six, Cat Five E doesn't really make much difference because at the moment they both run so much faster than any broadband speeds. So uh, yeah, either of, either of them will do. But in my opinion, it's a shame when they you're forking out all that money and you're getting whatever make you're getting down your line and then it's finished off with that. There's no need for it. Okay, yeah. So that's the uh, the cable that I sell. Now, you don't have to have infinity. This is your normal master socket, yeah? If you've got an ADSL faceplate, recognize these? Yeah, it's an ADSL faceplate. They were around before the infinity plate. Loads of people have them installed, okay? Again, the socket is actually an RJ45. So if you plug that into there, yeah? So many people will have that in their home. This is a centralized filter, so you don't need to have the dangly filters plugged in everywhere else. Um, the phone goes in, like you probably already know, the phone already just goes into there, yeah? And probably at the moment, again, you might have a cheap flat lead supplied from your service provider that plugs into there, okay? But you can use the infinity lead, the RJ45 side, yeah? So again, plugs in, okay? Yeah, so an RJ45 will plug in to an ADSL faceplate as well, yeah? Okay, and remember that I've got it labelled up as wall socket and modem ends, but it doesn't necessarily mean modem ends. If you've got uh, uh, if you've got an ADSL faceplate, it will be going straight to your router, and if you've got uh, if you've got the, the newer BT Infinity, the newer VDSL, uh, it will be plugged it straight into your hub. They've they've done away with the with the uh, the white modem. So uh, yeah, just all you've got to know is that uh, the RJ11 goes into the piece of equipment, and the RJ45 goes into the wall socket. Okay, and again with the uh, with the leads, I sell little cable clips. I use white cable, pure white cable. This is XL branded XL cable. Okay, and my cable clips fit nicely. Yeah, they're not too loose, they're not too tight. They don't pinch the cable, and they don't wobble about the place. So if you install that onto your skirting boards, then it's going to stand out about the same as telephone wire. Yeah. Okay, and the same for the Cat Six cable. Cat Six cable is approximately six to seven millimeters thick, okay? And then, can you see that just clips on nice? Yeah, nice. Okay, that's it, thanks for watching my video. If you would uh, like these products, please have a look at my uh, my my shop, which is www.mrtelephone.co.uk. That's mrmrtelephone.co.uk. Thanks so much for your time, bye now.